Hello, this is Amanda Burma with Frog Logic. Today I'm going to introduce you to a new feature in Squish GUI Tester 5.1, which is our multi touch gesture support. For the multi touch gestures, I have two different applications that I selected. Um, the first one is simply a uh, text application where you can use some gestures to expand and contract um, text. So I'll show that to you first, and then the other is. Um, one with images. So each of these gestures as I record them are being captured and then we'll see them in our gesture editor after recording. So here I'll simply click here and then what I'm going to do is use the iOS simulators gesture tools. So in setting those up that portion's not recorded. You can see the circles here and how to use these are all detailed in the iOS developer documentation. But now that I have my gesture set up, we'll actually record against the gesture. So I'm expanding, contracting. So that's a pinch gesture, for example. And when I click stop, we'll be able to see the recording. So the objects I clicked on, as well as the gesture that was created. So this gesture is saved as a test case resource, can also be drag and dropped into the test suite resources so that you can use that same gesture with other test cases. If we want to view and edit that gesture, simply double clicking on it, we'll open the gesture in the gesture editor, at which point it's often best to zoom so that you can see the gesture in more detail. Um, from here we can select animate and view how the gesture was recorded and each of those little points you th see there are able to be modified by simply selecting them. You can move the entire gesture from of one finger and the other finger um, and you can also drag any of these points to different locations so that you can modify the specifics of the gesture. I'll click run and you'll be able to see um, that multi-touch gesture execute in the test. Um, to show you another application, I'm going to go to my test suite settings and select a different application that I've prepared for you today for the um, multi-touch gestures. And this one um, is for viewing photos. So I'll click record. And same with this guy here. So again, I'm going to start my gesture by setting it up. Okay, so now that I've got it set up, um, I can begin recording that gesture. So if I want to zoom in, zoom out, or maybe I want to move this item back and forth. So all your different multi-touch gestures are supported. Again, we can see what I did. I simply recorded a gesture. Let's take a look at my gesture that I recorded. And see the animation of the gesture. And we'll replay that gesture again, or that entire script containing the gesture. So playing it back exactly as I had recorded it. Well, you only saw the multi-touch gestures on the simulator today. It's important to know they're also available on the device. And on the device, you simply perform the gestures and they're recorded um, as you perform them. Whereas on the simulator, you saw how the circles indicate your gesture and you can see all of the details of how to use those from the iOS developer pages. Visit froglogic.com 
to read more about Squish GUI Tester 5.1 features and evaluate Squish today.